Now, we don't know the additional sentence yet, but we did get something new from today's hearing for the former football player convicted in the murder of a high school cheerleader. It's been almost two years that we've been following mm -hmm. this case now. Riley Gall convicted earlier this year in the murder of Emma Walker. The two had an on again, off again relationship. The 16 year old Central High School student shot through the wall of her home while she was sleeping. The jury at Walker's trial in May took barely four hours to reach a verdict. The conviction for Gall coming with a life sentence with the chance of parole coming after 51 years. Uh, but he still faced sentencing on other charges. WATE 6 on your side reporter Madison Keeby was in court for the process. Madison, we had not heard from Riley Gall in court until today. You're right, Lori. The first time he's spoken, reading from a prepared statement. He first started by apologizing to the Walker family. This only after Emma Walker's parents spoke first, reading from their own prepared statements. The stories shared were memories and dreams they had for their daughter that they say are no longer possible. The state reiterating that Gall's actions were deliberate and Gall himself said otherwise. My intentions were not, and never have been, to cause Emma any physical harm. At times, I was a terrible boyfriend. I caused her emotional and psychological pain during the two years that we were together. But I never once even imagined to cause her any physical harm. Now there's one additional charge and the finishing of the sentencing. He'll be back in court later this month. Ladies. And thank you so much. And of course, we'll continue to follow this case and bring you Gall's final sentence as soon as it does come down. Yes, and we're also hoping you will join us tonight at 10. Deborah Roberts from ABC's 2020 is taking a deep dive into this murder, speaking with close friends of Riley Gall, who helped police by taking part in a sting operation. That is coming up tonight at 10, right here on WATE 6 on your side. I talked with Deborah Roberts, and she also mm -hmm. said, you know, as parents, uh, we feel like it's our duty to share these red flags as a yeah. warning for other parents and kids. Yeah, and, and the episode tonight does just that. It does.